if the sodium potassium balance was off so much to impact the pupillary reflex, why wouldn't it affect every other reflex in the body? Why wouldn't every other reflex be dampened like the pupillary reflex is when you shine a light in it? Why wouldn't it hold? And I realized that, that the explanation for a dilated pupil or a paradoxical pupillary reflex where the pupils dilate to light either initially or they constrict and then dilate was really more of a neurological explanation. And it was related to either a low parasympathetic activity, because as you know, the parasympathetics cause pupil constriction, or an increased sympathetic activity, because the sympathetics cause pupil dilation. And in fact, what it turns out it is, most of the time, I would think, would be uh, in a stress-related state is an increased sympathetic activity. Fight or flee reaction, pupils dilate, and that's why I think we see it. If we see pupils dilate in, a, in an adrenal stress-related patient, one of the things I'm thinking of is this patient's under high level of stress and it's too much sympathetic activity. Now, it could also be a failure of the mesencephalic parasympathetic centers. The edinger westfall nucleus in cranial nerve three could be failing because it's under firing because of either under stimulation or exhaustion, 